Howdy, partner. My name's Matt Vanwert, and you're watching Shop Talk. This week's episode, we're going to give you some sweet, juicy, freshman advice for you incoming college students. One major difference to college is that you'll find yourself studying a lot more. You may have been a great A student in high school, but college is a little bit more difficult. If you ever find yourself trying to finish an assignment before midnight and you're cutting it close, a pro tip that I have for you is I highly recommend you listen to early Green Day music on repeat and try to finish your homework before you fall into a deep depression. Uh, one other major change you probably notice in college is that you have to do your own laundry. Not everyone did laundry at home, but in college, it's up to you. I really don't have a lot to say about laundry except for the fact it really sucks. Friendship. Uh, I know a lot of people when they go into college, they feel like they're not going to be able to make friends. Uh, some pro tips I have for making friends is tell everyone how good you were at lacrosse in high school. Usually they'll think that's so amazing and immediately become your best friend. Uh, if that doesn't work, then Eric, when you find someone looks really insecure, uh, go up to them, make fun of them, belittle them, try to you know, tear them down to nothing. And after that, hopefully they'll latch on to you for a sense of identity. Uh, and if none of that works, just remind people how big of a deal your dad is. Oh, if that doesn't work, you can also just join a frat. Hey. Uh, now that you're in college and you have yourself some great friends, I recommend you get involved. Uh, the best way to get involved is your first few weeks of college, sign up for five organizations you're interested in, attend their first meeting of the semester, get to know everyone. Uh, you'll probably just end up getting intimidated by all the senior members and never show up again. And spend the next four plus years of your life receiving emails from the Swing Dance Society, although you never attend on going to another dance again. One big change you'll probably notice in college is that in high school people may not have drank that much, but in college drinking is definitely more acceptable as part of the culture. But before I begin, I'd like to take some time to say, underage drinking is illegal, and you as a student will potentially have to deal with all consequences if you choose to do so and partake in such activities. Now that being said, as a responsible 19 year old, I've never drank a bit of alcohol in my life. However, the following advice was given to me by an incredibly handsome six foot three, brown haired, brown eyed, uh, 21 plus friend of mine who has a show and an incredible personality. Ladies, you should really look into him. I can't remember his name right now, but he's a great guy. And his advice is if girls, if you wanna get free drinks, what I highly recommend you do is breathe. Guys, if you wanna get free drinks, my incredibly handsome six foot four friend has some advice for you. What you do is, is you get yourself a Powerade, water it down a little bit, because no one drinks Powerade, you know, if they're going to get a, a, an energy drink, they're going to get a, like, Gatorade or something, you know? So you get a Powerade, and you take this Powerade to parties with, and you tell everyone you spiked it with vodka, right? And everyone else at the party is also a freshman, so they have no idea what alcohol tastes like, right? Uh, and so you, you, you like, hey, I'll give you some Powerade with vodka for a beer, right? And you just keep trading off this Powerade, and you essentially get drunk the entire night, the Powerade that you bought, that only cost you $2 in uh, dining dollars. But that was just advice my six foot five, uh, incredibly handsome brown haired friend gave me. Finally, college parties. Now, if you've seen any major motion picture, you've probably heard of college parties. Uh, you know, and a lot of movies have really hyped them up. For example, uh, Super Bad, um, Animal House, uh, you know, Project X. You probably think, wow, I bet, you know, all these college parties are gonna be crazy. You know, you're gonna walk into a house and it's gonna be like, Women twerking everywhere, you know, everyone's gonna be drinking beer, having a good time, you know. Everyone's gonna be super social, it's gonna be crazy insane, you know, people are gonna be doing like LSD. And you're probably wondering, are college parties actually like that? And let me tell you, once and for all, yeah, it's pretty accurate. All of them. 